Hi everybody, welcome to my kitchen. Welcome to Karen Sizzle and Spice. I'm really excited to be making some smoothies today. Smoothies. Ed and I have been on this kick lately and I thought I'd share a couple recipes with you. Uh, so this is what you're gonna need for today's recipes. We're gonna use a little bit of maple syrup. We'll be using some skim milk, but you can also use almond milk, whole milk, any kind of milk that you like. We're gonna use a little bit of vanilla. We'll be using an orange in one of our smoothies. We're gonna use some honey. We'll be using some plain Greek yogurt, which is good for you. We'll be using a little bit of peanut butter and some cocoa powder, unsweetened cocoa powder. And we're gonna be using some frozen bananas. And let me show you how I store them. I found out the hard way that you don't freeze bananas whole because I did that and uh, you can't get the peels off and the bananas fall apart. So to prepare my bananas for my smoothies, I just peel them and I break them in a few pieces. And then I'm gonna put these in the freezer. That's where I'll store them. Get that brown part off. I'll store them in the freezer in a Ziploc bag. To be clear, I'm gonna put them in the freezer like this for a good hour or so, and then I'll put them into the Ziploc bag because if I put them in a Ziploc bag now, all the bananas will be stuck to each other. So you can probably tell from the ingredients that I listed that the two smoothies we're gonna to make today, one is chocolate and one is orange. Now there's not a lot, there's no added sugar to this. I don't put sugar in my smoothies at all, just natural sweeteners like the honey, the vanilla, the maple syrup. And you know, 100% maple syrup actually has some good things in it for you. But the star of today's movie is my new ninja. Look at this beauty. I love this thing. You know, actually my brother had one, so I do have to give kudos to Ken. Here's a shout out to you, Ken, because I, love this thing i saw it on his counter i asked him all about it he told me i said i gotta have one so look at this thing it's got such terrific power chopping power you can make ice cream with this thing when you push this smoothie button you'll see when i make them it pulses and stops pulses and stops here's your power button this thing is fantastic I'm gonna put the link for it on the description of this video. It was less than $100. It's a fantastic blender. So which smoothie do you want to start with, Ed? I would like to start with the orange. All right, let's go. So I'm excited we're gonna get this orange smoothie going. Uh, the first thing we're gonna put in is some banana. And I'm making a smoothie for Ed and I, so the portion size that I'm gonna give you is gonna work for two nice size smoothies. So take my cover off here. I'm gonna put my bananas in first and remember they were in the freezer. So I'm gonna use about three pieces which is equal to uh, one banana. There we go. The next thing I'm gonna put in is my peeled orange. I just peeled off the orange and broke it up in a few pieces. I'm gonna put uh, about a half a cup of uh, yogurt, plain yogurt in here. And you know what the great thing about smoothies is? You don't have to measure this stuff out a lot. Just kind of go with it. You can add so many different ingredients. Smoothies are really fun. I'm gonna put in, oh, I love vanilla. Maybe about a teaspoon to two teaspoons of vanilla. I'm gonna put a little bit of honey in. Again, maybe a tablespoon of honey. That's all it needs. And then I'm gonna pour uh, to start, maybe only about a quarter cup of milk, my skim milk. And then I'm going to see if it needs more. And the whole thing with the milk is you want to make it to the consistency that you like. I like my smoothies nice and thick, but I like to be able to drink it with a straw because it's fun. And if you make it too thick, you won't be able to do that. But if you want to have your smoothie with a spoon, you can make it as thick as you want. So let's get this going. I'm gonna show you just how fast, how fast this thing uh, whips up. <laughs> it's great. 
So we're just going to put it on this smoothie setting right here and watch how it pulses. Oops, got to put the power on first. There we go. Okay, I think this one is going to be perfect. Let me give it a taste to be sure. See if I want to add anything to it. That's the fun thing about smoothies. You can add whatever you want. Let's see. Mmm, it's nice and frothy. Mmm, that's really good. Very good. Uh, let's give it a pour. Let's give it a try, Eddie. Oh, we got to take this out. I want that falling out on me. And here we go. Look at that. Ooh, that's a beautiful thing. I think it's just the right consistency. Let's see how much we got here. Oh yeah, perfect amount or two. Okay, you know what, Eddie? I want you to come around from that side of the camera, hand me the camera and come over and try this. Come on. And you try it. Tell me what you think. Oh, it's delicious. <laughs> Reminds me of the days when I was a kid. It tastes just like a creamsicle. Creamsicle, or do you remember Orange Julius? Did you have those stores in New York? Yes. Because yes, that's what it did. reminds me of, too. Yeah, very All right, good. Let's clean up, and we're going to do the chocolate one next. Okay. <laughs> Christ, I can't get enough of this. <laughs> Good to the last drop, huh? Yes. <laughs> Love you, honey. Let's get this chocolate one going, huh? Yeah. All right, the first thing I want to tell you is that this thing is incredibly easy to clean. Did it take more than three minutes there? Oh, I think it was less than that. One piece inside comes right out. You just rinse it in hot water, ready to go for the next one. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a few pieces of the frozen banana. And then I'm going to put in, um, oh, I'd say about uh, two or three teaspoons of peanut butter. Yum. Nice, gooey peanut butter. Peanut butter and chocolate. Isn't that one of your favorite flavors in? Who doesn't like mm, that? Yum. I'm going to put in a little bit of milk. And again, the milk that you use, start with about a quarter cup and then keep moving up depending on the consistency that you want it. So put a little bit in to start. Then I'm gonna use two to three teaspoons of the cocoa. This is non-sweetened cocoa powder. I'll start with two and then we'll give it a taste after we've mixed it to see. And I'm gonna put just a touch of maple syrup in here. Again, this is a great natural sweetener. Okay. Let's mix this baby up, huh? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Here we go. need a little more milk. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. It's really dark. Yeah. And I think it could use a little more milk. Yeah, it looks too thick. Oh my god, it smells so good. <laughs> Woo! It smells chocolate -y. Give me that milk. I think we need a little bit more. Okay, and you know what else I'm gonna do? I'm gonna get a little bit of ice to put in here. Oh good idea. I want it as cold as it can be. Yeah. Let me grab a couple ice cubes. The great thing about this Ninja is, I mean, it chops up anything. <laughs> the ice, no problem. All right, let's mix this again and see what we get. And we'll taste it. Okay, here we go. Woo! He 
smoothie friends, if you'd like to see more smoothie recipes, let me know in the comments. And if you have a favorite smoothie recipe that you'd like to share, I'd love to see that in the comments as well. Maybe I'll even put it in one of my videos. <laughs> hey you guys, don't forget to subscribe. Smoothie's ready to go, babe. And I didn't even show you guys, this thing has a nice spout. You don't even have to take the cover off to pour. So these are perfect now. Oh my gosh. That looks that so looks really good. chocolatey. Oh my God, look at that. That is beautiful. Yeah. There's one for you, honey. All right. And one for me. Let's give this a taste. Yeah. I'll take the pink straw, you take the blue. Let's try it. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> wow, a liquid Reese's peanut butter cup. <laughs> that is delicious, and it's good for you. It's good for you. I hope you guys try these. I hope you love them. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>